to top up the screen wash, there's a cap just above the offside headlight. All you've got to do is just lift that cap up, obviously add your screen wash, and then top up using a watering can. There is no level sensor on this, so you do need to keep an eye on that and top it up quite frequently if you're using the screen washers a lot. Uh, this is a coolant for the engine. Uh, the max level, you can just about see it there, is there, and obviously the minimum is there. If the level does fall below that, if you can just contact us and we'll obviously advise you what to do. Um, brake fluid, again you've got a maximum and a minimum, although obviously you want to keep it in between there. Do not top the brake fluid up because obviously gives us an indication of your brake pad wear. Of course, if it does go below minimum, make sure you contact us so we can advise you what to do. Uh, as to the oil level, you've got a dipstick on the front. Obviously, just pull that out. So what you've got there, you've got your minimum there and you've got your maximum there. The oil level wants to be above half. It needs to be in this sort of area here. If it does fall below that, then obviously contact us and we'll recommend what oil to top up with. Also contact us if it does go over the max and don't drive the van at that point then. Let me just slide that back in. If you do need to top the oil up, there is an adapter in the near side door pocket. It's normally kept in a bag for cleanliness. Um, if you just follow me. Fit this, all you've got to do is take the oil cap off, take the cap off like that, push it on in twisting position, and you can pull your oil in there without it going at risk of spilling it all over the engine. Again, when you finish using it, take it out, place the cap back on and put it back in the bag because obviously there will be oil residue in there and then just place it back in the near side door pocket and obviously place the oil cap and make sure that's secure so it all doesn't go over the end.